What's up cowboy fans out there? This is Will again coming at y'all with another video. Hey guys, real quick, I wanted to talk about uh, an update with the Dallas Cowboys today. I just found out that the Dallas Cowboys have just signed an undrafted free agent. His name is uh, wide receiver. His name is Lance Noir out of uh, Western Illinois. Uh, I don't know too much about this guy. I hate when I don't know too much about somebody because I have to play detective. I have to dig and, 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 and scram and, and look at pics and look at background and do background checks and blood work and all this stuff. And I hate doing it. But in this case, I have to because I got to reach out to my Dallas Cowboy fans out there, Dallas Cowboy Nation. And uh, I wanted to talk about this guy. So you guys bear with me. Um, the only thing I do know is stat-wise, he looked pretty good. Uh, he set a school record. Uh, for, career, for career interceptions uh, with 273 catches, uh, 3,796 yards, and 28 touchdowns, which is pretty good, man. On paper, that looks really good. Uh, he's six feet, he's six feet, 210. Uh, he's visited with a lot of teams, though. That's what kind of scares me. Uh, Chicago, Green Bay, Kansas City, Oakland, Miami, uh, and Baltimore. Um, he did a mini camp with, I mean, uh, uh, he did OTAs and stuff like that with Chicago, and I guess they didn't want to sign him or whatever. So, but I think a lot of co a lot of these coaches and, and owners there are scared of this guy's speed. Um, he wasn't very fast. Uh, his his I think his best forty time was a four six three, which is ooh, that's kind of pushing it. You got tight ends that are running faster than that now. So, uh, I think that's what's scaring him off. But his route running is excellent. Uh, his knowledge for the game is excellent. He has great hands, great leaping ability, but it's just that 40 time. That 40 time is very important, and that's why a lot of teams are passing up on this guy. Um, I haven't heard of any deals. I know we signed him, but I haven't heard of any deals being said or whatever uh, as far as the finance part of it goes. But um, this is going to create a competitive uh, atmosphere um, at the, at the uh, wide receiver position, you know. Uh, like I say, it's going to wake up, open up some eyes, you know, with Dez, Terrence Williams, Cole Beasley, Bryce Butler, Whitehead, and the draft picks that we got, you know, Switzer and everybody. Um, it, I think what the Cowboys are doing, they're trying to find a diamond in the rough because this is a small college, you know, small school, not really big time. And, uh, you know, sometimes you get lucky doing it. We did that, we did that. you know, Jimmy Johnson did that a lot back in the day uh, with the Dallas Cowboys. Uh, we found some defensive guys and offensive linemen out of those small schools, Nate Newton and Larry Allen and players like that. And, hell, we won Super Bowls with those guys. So, uh, you know, you'd be surprised what you find in those, in those small schools. Uh, and another thing, um, I think what they're doing is, and this has happened before with Jimmy Johnson again, they, uh, you know, we're pretty sold up at the wide receiver position. As you can see, we have a plenty, plenty good, we have really good depth at the wide receiver position. Uh, but they're, I, I believe they're trying to wake some people up. A, a lot of times it's a head, it's a mind thing, psychological thing. They'll sign somebody just to kind of wake up everybody else around and, you know, oh shit, you know, because your job isn't promised in the NFL, you know, the business part takes over and et cetera. So, uh, you know, maybe they're kind of digging in that part of it, you know, the psychological, maybe if I sign this guy, this will make some guys work harder, you know, some some veterans that we already got that think they got it made, think they got a, a, a position here, you know, if we sign this young cat, um, It'll open some eyes, it'll open some doors, or whatever. So Jimmy Johnson used to do it back in the day, you know, with when Emmitt Smith and Michael Irvin, he would, he would, you know, cut a guy, and just to wake up some eyes of of, of the older veteran players, you know, or he would get in Michael Irvin's or Emmitt Smith's shit, you know, uh, after a game if they didn't do so well, and he'll pull him to the side. You know why I did that, right? You know, if, if I get on you, my superstar running back or my superstar receiver, that means that. The other guys wouldn't stand a chance, so it's, I, 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 I'm pretty sure that's probably what what they're doing. You know, I'm not I'm not a genius at it or, or a professional, but uh, a lot of times the owners or coaching staff they'll they'll do that. They'll bring a young guy along and oh shit, you know, damn, well, you know, just like at work, you know, when they bring a guy in and, and, and you you know you doing your job the best of your ability, and uh, 
you know, they bring a new guy in, and you're like, oh, shoot, you know, damn, well, why are they bringing them? They're going to fire somebody? Whoa, I better get on my shit, you know what I mean? So, you know, you just never know, guys, but that's all I pretty much got with this guy, man, Lance uh, Lance no uh, Lawar. I, I want to say Noir, like like the video game, L.A. Noir. But uh, <laughs> uh, Lance, uh, Lance uh, Lenoir out of uh, Western uh, Illinois, wide receiver. Um, like I say, hopefully he'll be pretty good. Um, he's got some catching up to do. You know, they 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 signed him on how they felt stat wise. You know, like I said, they haven't looked at this guy yet. You know, today is the first day of uh, the three day mini camp we got going on, so maybe they'll get a chance to look at him then. But you know, uh, he better get his. You know what? You know what I mean. He better come with it because. Um, you know, he's coming through a back door. You know, all the rookies have already gotten signed and everything. Well, not all of them, but, you know, most of the rookies have gotten signed and et cetera. So, but, you know, we'll see, guys. Uh, that's all I got, man. So, y'all stay tuned and holler back. Subscribe, comment, let me know what's up. Holler back at your boy. I'm out.